It was hiding right there in plain sight all along, really, but it didn't become clear until another piece was added to the puzzle today. The House Judiciary Committee has Donald Trump nailed on multiple felonies. I don't just mean that in the we all know he's guilty sense. We're talking about conviction level evidence. Bear with me here. The House Judiciary Committee publicly informed Matt Whitaker a few weeks ago that, because he'd committed perjury, he needed to come back and tell the truth about Donald Trump, or the implication was that he'd be criminally charged for it. Right after this, Donald Trump gave Whitaker a nice new Dodge job in an attempt to keep him loyal. But last week Whitaker abruptly resigned that new job, and today he testified to the committee that Trump instructed him to commit several obstruction of justice felonies. This was private testimony, but Chairman Jerry Nadler quickly made Whitaker's confession public. Here's the thing. YOUC, this isn't just Whitaker's word against Trump's word. And while I explained earlier the importance of the fact that other witnesses have also testified that they saw Trump commit other similar obstruction crimes, the reality is that no one has to take Whitaker's word for it when it comes to these specific crimes. Ask yourself how the House Judiciary Committee knew that Matt Whitaker was lying to begin with. The committee must have had reliable witnesses or hard evidence or both just to make that accusation against Whitaker. He didn't cave today because he grew a conscience, he caved because he's seen that they have enough to convict him. And whatever that evidence is against Whitaker, it's also evidence against Trump. So no one has to take Whitaker's word for it, the committee already has proof that Trump instructed Whitaker to obstruct justice. Whitaker's testimony is just icing on the cake. They have Trump nailed.